we are being swarmed with updates right now to fix all kind of bugs in this uh, combination of uh, the Mini 4 Pro S and uh, the DJI RC2. At least that's the, the kit that I have available uh, here right now. So, makes it easier to synchronize everything <laughs> when I gotta edit it. Again, I'm running against time, um, so if the sun is going down, and I check the weather forecast for, for tomorrow, and it seems it's going to be really, really crappy. So let's just get this job done and make a test flight. with the Mini 4 Pro to check the latest and greatest upgrade that is released from DJI. And uh, right now I have right now the 113.9 running here. As it seemed uh, the 113.8 had introduced it fixed some issues with the connectivity during hyperlapse, but it introduced issues when we are doing waypoint missions that the app actually crashed. And maybe it introduced a few more things as well. But DJI flipped it around pretty rapidly and uh, made a, an update and released that here this morning. I think less than 48 hours after the original one. Of course, we're going to test this, so make sure, we're going to make sure that uh, it's working like it's supposed to. And uh, as uh, the issue was related to waypoints, let's just enable the waypoint option, as you can see here. Now that is available on the screen. I'm still sorry a little bit about my, my sound. That's not like it's supposed to, because I'm still feeling a little bit, I don't know, weird. <laughs> I've been sick for the couple, past couple of days. But you can see if I press the C1 here in the base, I put a waypoint in the bottom of uh, the screen. And I can do another one where maybe I go up to this height here. Let's just keep this uh, yeah, building down here in the center. So I just press the C1. So see now it adds another waypoint. I can take it away if I regret it. I can just press the C2. So in this way I can do like a very nice, uh, like, yeah, like a macro. If you can remember that from the old computer days, you would do like a macro. You could sort of teach the computer what it needed to do and then you could replay it afterwards. So let's just go down to this position and maybe zoom in. And then we can throw in another waypoint here. So now we have a waypoint mission that we can execute. And a smart tip is that you can basically do it backwards because that will save you the trip for the drone that needs to go to the first waypoint. So if we start with waypoint three, it will basically start with the waypoint where we ended. And let's see. What is it doing now? Why is it coming home? Okay, let's just stop that. The problem that was reported, I don't know if I even have the phone here so I can tell you what was reported. That was that app 113.8 now causes uh, waypoint editing saving. Opening crashed the app when uh, opening a new created waypoint. And it was checked on two controllers. So what he's basically saying is that if I go in here and start waypoints here and I open the menu here in the base and I press the option to load the mission, the one we did with the test, if I now add another waypoint, so let's move this to another location, zoom it out, it's a wall nice, maybe we can just do like a, yeah, okay, so we added a waypoint, we can do that, we can take it away. We can add another waypoint here while we're flying. Then we can let it look at where I'm parked. I can add another waypoint. I can basically yeah, 
take this one away and then I can do add a point of interest. Let's just see if we can do that. I'll do a point of interest here and then we are adding another weight point like this. And I think we have sufficient battery enough to, yeah, let's first go and save it. So we save it. Save. So I could have decided to give it a new name, but I just saved it on top of the other one. And then we can do next. And then just to go through the settings uh, down here, just fast, is that the first one is uh, what is the speed that it needs to go between the waypoints? What does it need to do when it finalizes the mission? Does it need to go, uh, yeah, return to home? That's what happened in the first attempt because I put it on waypoint three that triggered the return to home. And uh, if it loses the signal uh, on the way, what should it do then? It should also return to home. And where should it start? Start point, waypoint, start point. That should be either one, two, or three. And it seems if you put it at three, it will just trigger the, yeah, return to home. So, let's see if we have everything here, yeah? So let's press go, and let's execute, execute the mission. So now, it's going back to point number one. And it's showing it here on the map as well what it is that it's actually doing. So that's a kind of a nice, a nice overview. So, but let's just, yeah, we can, yeah, maybe let's, let's, let's do, let's do it like this. We're recording video here at the same time. So we can just play around with the video feed while it's doing this. So it's working. I know it's very easy to blame DJI for introducing bugs and all that stuff, but you have to imagine this is a very, very complex code base that they have. They have to support multiple drones, multiple devices, and it's, it's not an easy task to do a comprehensive uh, test of, uh, of all of this. I know that coming from working with software where we did a lot of testing <laughs> and uh, we managed to release bugs uh, all the time. Uh, yeah, anyway, so. <clears throat> so now it's suspended the waypoint mission again. I guess it's the birds or something that's in the area that might cause uh, these problems. But at least there's no crashes as it is right now. Is there a way to make it continue? No, there's no way to make it continue. So if I press go here, it will, <laughs> it will, just, uh, yeah, it will basically go back and start all over again. Let me know if you want me to do a proper uh, tutorial on, uh, yeah, on waypoints, then I will consider making one for you, showing you all the benefits that you can do with this. It's particularly practical if you have to go back to the same spot and do the same exercise over and over again. If you have to do that manually, that would be close to impossible because uh, you can never sort of hit the same points as uh, you were originally. And this is where you can use uh, the waypoints. You can record the mission. You can save it. My new house, da 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 da. And then you can uh, maybe do one uh, where you go in the, uh, yeah, in each uh, yes, uh, yeah, section of the year, when, uh, in winter time, in spring, in summer, in fall. So you capture all the differences uh, in that way. So that will make that task pretty easy once you have dialed the mission in to the controller. So now it's, let's just for the sake of it, let it finish here. So, and the reason why I'm late to the party is that I had a lot of stuff uh, to be done today with the mini drone club. Um, I kind of need to have everything in place uh, before the beginning of the month and um, the program that we have this month is uh, really, really nice. Um, and we have a summer contest where you can win like an Osmo Action 4, like the one that I'm filming at, the, uh, using to film right now. We have a lot of uh, shared flights where we go to places and fly. We have this collaboration with this store where you can go out and you can uh, yeah, test out equipment and try and fly stuff. Maybe you can bring people to fly stuff. 
so you don't need to have them use your own and wreck it. So that's a, a pretty good idea. And uh, also we have uh, another uh, of my long-term collaboration partners coming on board, holding, hosting a, like a session where he describes all the rules that are going on in uh, Denmark including all the advantages of uh, getting like a certificate if you're getting like the base A1, A3 certificate and the A2 certificate. So you kind of learn what are the things that you can do with that. The most common presumption about that would be that ah, if I'm having an A2 certificate, I can fly heavier drones. But that's not the full truth. Uh, yeah, that is of course the truth. But on top of that, if you have a small drone like uh, the one that we are flying right now, um, you, you, it will basically be possible for you to go closer to airports than you can uh, by default. Uh, you can do a lot of uh, yeah, extra stuff that is not uh, possible. If you have to fly on a Nature 2000 area and you get a permission from um, yeah, the tra traffic authorities, the aircraft, yeah, what is it called? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the traffic and railway authorities in Denmark. It is required that you have an A2 certificate uh, to be able to do that. So, so that will open up for a lot more uh, possibilities if you want to do this in a, a like use your drone, uh, yeah, sort of to support your business. Also, you might have seen that I have been doing some real estate jobs. Uh, also, if I have to fly within the zone where the military needs to grant permission, it's also needed that you have a A2 certificate. So a lot of the stuff that uh, I'm doing wouldn't even be possible if I didn't have a certificate regardless of the drone that I was choosing. So that's definitely worth yeah, looking into. And before uh, people are starting to complain, the Danes that are watching this, you are not allowed to fly a road where the speed limit is above 70 kilometers an hour. Yes, I am allowed to cross it if the sole purpose of the crossing is to cross the road and I have made sure that there are no traffic available. So then that's perfectly legal to do that. All right, I think we managed to at least, I don't know, mess a little bit around here in the evening. Sun. Just take it down by hand. Hello. Ah, I just switch in sport mode. Then it doesn't matter. <laughs> Sometimes I can't make it go down due to the sensors. Then I switch it in sport mode and then hopefully not crash the drone. <laughs> so, sorry about that. All right, so let's just for the sake of this video, just go in here and see if everything is okay. We are still running 01000600 as the aircraft firmware. There was no updates for that one. And we are running the 113.9. I already knew that, but I just want to show you that this is the one that we are running. And it seems to have fixed the issues that uh, was introduced using waypoints, saving and uh, yeah, saving, loading, adding additional waypoints to the waypoints missions. It's, uh, it's definitely not a problem uh, doing that right now. It was kind of funny that uh, the, the, the waypoint missions were interrupted on the way. I'm not really sure why that happened. Maybe I can uh, yeah, look myself out of that when I'm re-watching the footage, well, uh, when I'm editing it. So, let me know if you found anything else that you want me to go out and test. Uh, it's uh, really uh, nice to be back on track and make some videos uh, for you guys again. And uh, so let me know in uh, the comments below. Also, if there's other videos that you want me to look into, then feel free to drop some suggestions below. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you around.